Hello guys, so in this video, I will show you how to use Stammer, the steamed hammer fire. Links will be in the description. So, install this script, and then, um, you have Python installed, guys. If you don't, please do. Type in cnd, it'll go to the, like, command prompt. Oh my god, my computer's kind of laggy. I have already ran this script, so basically I think that you're supposed to, like, um, do pip install, pip install, c colon slash, oh, I just, c colon slash users slash, yes, I know. This is um, probably gonna. Well, it's okay though. I've kind of released my PC name in like a uh, Vegas project files. It's okay though. Okay, so apparently it's really laggy right now, honestly. You know, at this point, I just have to like manually find this entire folder, so like, hang on. So I think it should be somewhere. Uh, so stammer mint. Okay, guys. And then we are having... We have to copy this entire thing. Copy his path. But don't like actually just. Stammer main, stammer main requirements.txt. It's probably gonna have to work, right? Oh my god, I just really just did that. I might have to like completely do the. And and then we really have to go deep. So yeah, run that command, and then let's, uh, so this is very easy. Also, download FFmpeg. It's really easy to download. Just follow any online tutorial for it. I mean, all you gotta do is just go to the entire, just go to Windows Beyond.dev, it's okay then. So then, um, let's do this. We could easily, um, just... Okay, so then... I don't know if PowerShell is gonna work for this. Let's just use command prompt again. So we type in CMD, we hook up that app. So apparently... We... <laughs> So, to, so, we're gonna have to find the entire, we're gonna, well, so basically, I decided to use Stammer on this kind of stuff, worked out really well. So, um, 
let's say we're going to be using the PC widescreen. It's basically just like Okay, so anyways, guys, if you're, if, if, if stammer.py does not work, please DM me, okay? So stammer.py should be the path to your stammer file. Your carrier track should be, what should it be? So your carrier track should be like, say... So we're gonna be doing something, okay? Python c colon slash users slash alamo slash downloads slash stammer main slash stammer main. Now I think it's called stammer.py. This and by the way, guys, the alamo variable it could vary for any of you guys. Could be like David as like 414. Could be anything. So then we have to use AC widescreen. And then maybe we're gonna. And then we're going to have to find our other one so that we can rearrange the frames of KC widescreen. Oh, hey, what is this? No. Copy this. And then we are going to have to like find this file. So guys, sometimes there's gonna be that rare chance where it won't work, probably because your file will have like spaces, like your file name. So then this might hopefully work. Shut up. I'm in the middle of recording something. Shut up! I do not care about that water ball. Just shut up! I hate you guys. You know that. <laughs> yeah, it's just you guys are irritating me. Anyways, then we are going to overwrite a file with the with this file name. And so that's going to be our file name. What it's happened to your 11 haircuts? My 11 haircut? Oh, I grew hair, guys. You have a ponytail now. No, I don't. What are you talking about? I don't need one, though. This is what happens. So we go to wait. <laughs> Yeah. So now we see our file, okay? And then we have to look here. Wait, what? How is it not even? I, I swear. Did I just see? You can't even like search for it, but okay. So like, let's just go to the file all by itself. If it exists, it's good. It works, guys. Thanks for watching this tutorial.